Hi, thank you so much for tuning in to Sidewalks Entertainment. I'm your host, Lori Rosales. So you guys are in for a treat because if you have read the novel, Someone Like You, or if you have seen the movie, Someone Like You, then you'll likely know who today's guests are. Uh, one of them, you've seen him in The Baxters, and the other, you may have seen her in the series, Degrassi, The Next Generation. Today we have Jake Allen, Sarah Fisher, and Karen Kingsbury, right here on Sidewalks Entertainment. So don't change that channel because you do not want to miss out. I'd like to welcome Jake Allen, Sarah Fisher, and number one New York Times bestselling author, Karen Kingsbury, to Cybox Entertainment. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. Hey there, thanks for having us. So Karen, the movie Someone Like You is based on your bestselling novel of the same name, but this book is one of many bestselling books that you've written. Looking back before your success, what started your career as a published author? Well, I was, as a kid, I mean, I just had stories in my heart constantly. And I was always just grabbing paper. Like my favorite thing was cuddle up in the corner and just like write. I still love it. I love writing. Uh, so, you know, I, I went from a journalist in Los Angeles. I was a writer for the LA Times and sports writer first and then feature writer. And I wrote some true crime books, which were pretty dark and not where my heart was. And then I wrote my first what I would call life-changing fiction title about 26 years ago. Um, now I've written, I don't even know, 55, 60 novels and have 25 million books in print. And really it was the readers that kind of named it life-changing fiction because they would read and they would say, okay, not only did I love the story and I couldn't put it down, but now I want to make things right with my sister or I'm going to call that friend that I lost touch with. So they were calling it life-changing. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. And uh, Sarah, uh, fans might recognize you for your work on the TV series Degrassi, The Next Generation. You played Becky Baker. Uh, reflecting back, what did you enjoy most about playing the role of Becky Baker and working on that series? Uh, well, you know what? It was it was actually the first audition that I ever did in the industry. It was the first one, and I kind of so I kind of fell in, and then I fell head over heels in love with the industry because honestly, you you couldn't ask to to work with better people. Everyone involved, cast, crew. I call you know the heads of the show, Linda Shiler and Stephen Stone, Mama and Papa DeGrassi. You know they're just mom and dad, and it was really. It really was just that family dynamic the entire time. So I think being around the people, learning that way, I was so grateful for the experience. And, you know, Becky's name was Little Miss Sunshine. That was her nickname. And so it was such an honor and excitement to be able to bring such a bubbly, fun character to life. And uh, Jake, and not only do you shine in your talent in acting, but you are also a very talented writer as well. What led to your start in the industry? Uh, it was definitely writing. Uh, my dad is a writer. My brother is a writer. So it was kind of, it was kind of the family business. And and even once I started to get into acting, I realized that my best way into acting was writing. Not only you know being able to maybe write my own roles or create my own projects, but I definitely write a lot for every character. Um, it's definitely definitely a part of my process. So, Karen, the film Someone Like You, not only are you the author of the best-selling book that this movie is based on, but you're also the producer and creator of this film. What was it about Jake and Sarah that made them a great fit to play the roles of Andy slash London and Dawson? And what was it like to see these characters that you created be brought to life? Well, we actually opened Karen Kingsbury Productions because we wanted to use our savings to make a movie so that it would be just the movie that was on my heart. The one that I kind of felt like, you know, God put it on my heart in the beginning as a story. And now I wanted to see it on the big screen where everyone else could enjoy this movie that way. Jake is also in The Baxters based on others of my books. 
And he was, I got to see all three seasons a couple of years ago. And I said, he is perfect for Dawson Gage. Like he is such a talented actor. So we kind of started with him. I called him and I said, can you please be available in the fall of 22? And he was able to do that. We were very blessed to know that he could join us. And then it was a search for the perfect um, actress who would play both sisters, London and Andy, in Someone Like You. And we went through 3,000 different talented, you know, actors, but Sarah easily rose to the top. She is just incredible. She brings entirely different performances, one to London, one to Andy. And you, I've had people say to me after watching an early screening, how did you find two actresses that looked so much alike? And the truth is, oh, it's the same. Wow. Girl. So. Um, she's got this, you know, just this sunshine in her that is so beautiful and it comes across so well on the screen. She's, they're both going to be huge stars. So while I could afford them and uh, while I could, you know, have the privilege to work with them, we thought someone like you is the perfect love story to let everyone see just how talented they are and to see the beauty of the story. So Sarah, what do you enjoy most about playing the roles of Andy and London and working on this film? I think, I think one of the things I, I enjoyed most, honestly, just in the whole process of uh, playing, playing both roles was really just working with the people, cast, crew, right from the chemistry read where I met, where, you know, I'd worked with Jake, Karen, and Tyler uh, in the chemistry read. Even from, from that, I, I knew that it was going to be a really special project, uh, whether I got to be, was lucky enough to be involved or not at the time, but I it was just magic. It was magical. All the people made it made it so magical. Nashville. I always say a piece of my heart is left in Nashville because there is such a sparkle and a, and a beautiful, warm energy uh, that Nashville brings uh, to the screen, you know, going on the lake and everything as well. It was just through and through. It was just such an incredible experience. Yeah, such good people. So one last question before we run out of time. Uh, Jake, what caught your interest in being a part of this movie? I think what caught my interest was the the fact that Karen had written such a hopeful story and such a story that could bring so much healing to the world while at the same time not sh shying away from from the pain that comes with living one way or one way or another. Um, you know, a lot of movies could either be very dark, and you leave the theater going, oh man, that was that makes me mm -hmm. sad, or very very happy, and it's just not, it's not quite real life. And this movie just is a perfect blend of, of both the, the pain that comes with with life, but also the the love that can come with it too. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love that. Well, sadly, we are out of time, but it was such a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking time to speak with me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everyone, be sure to watch the movie Someone Like You. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit us at SidewalksTV.com, our YouTube channel, and don't forget to follow us on social media.